look, I managed to not... Wait, what? <laughs> Did I unlock that... <laughs> Did I unlock that door in the last episode? I meant to wait and unlock it. Damn it! <laughs> and welcome back to Soundboard. Uh, setting up expectations and failing them retroactively. What the hell? Oh. Okay, hold on. Listen to this. I'm gonna turn it up. Here, listen. What do you think that's supposed to sound like? A frog? A cricket? Eric, how did you fucking know? I mean. Okay, so, Hooktail, I'm gonna spoil something. Hooktail, the bad guy of this boss of this dungeon. Ate a cricket once and got really sick. So when you make your hammer sound like a cricket, he's like, oh, I don't like that, and he gets sick. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Weird. I mean, apparently me and the Foldy guy for this game are soulmates. Fold oh, Foldy guy. I was like, the f I thought you said the f Oh, I thought you said Foldy guy, because it's a game about paper. <laughs> and I was sitting there trying to think, I was like, what the fuck does he mean, Foldy guy? I don't get it. <laughs> Don't you know every video game studio has a designated Foldy guy? I have a very He prints out the, the 3D crickets. models and like folds them into the 3D. Wait, you have a, you an irrational fear of crickets? Yes. Explain. I hate them. Why? Um, because whenever what I was younger, part of irrational younger, do you understand? I'm wanting to get a basement room, and there were a lot of crickets in there, and. I would like sometimes wake up with a cricket on me, and then my mom told me she she told me that the crickets were just singing to me, and that's freaked me out even more. <laughs> so I've been like afraid of crickets ever since. Okay. I remember one time I literally was walking with my sisters to Walmart, and uh, there was a bush, and there was I could just hear the crickets, and like I freaked out and I almost cried. <laughs> I feel like a lot of your stories end out with, I almost cried. <laughs> and the rest of them that don't end in that end with, I cried. You are correct. Uh, you are very much correct. Have I ever talked about my childhood phobia involving blankets? No. No? What? Yeah, it's like when I was a kid, and still now, I like to sleep with a blanket like all over me. Like most human beings? Yeah. And like, I had this like, minor like, annoying imagination thing. Where I'm in the blanket up to my like neck or above even, just totally under the blanket. I think if this blanket turned to steel right now and fused to the bed, I would die here. What? I couldn't get out. <laughs> Not on your own. You know, I was gonna. Okay, I was gonna talk about how stupid my fear. I have another fear, <laughs> and it's that. It's that my hair will get caught in a garbage disposal. Well, that that that's not irrational. I well I know, but I thought it was a stupid fear. And then he <laughs> brings up this. You just spit on me. Your blanket. Your fear is your blanket turning into steel, you... and you not being able to escape. What? I open up my heart to you people. I'm you so... just throw it back into me. So... Would it be great if there was a medical emergency and my heart fell out, but not great in this situation. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. She's this is a badge thief. She's super into badges. Um, I don't remember how, but you can get her to uh, you can get her as a partner, but I don't fucking remember how. Anyway, she's guarding badges in here. She gave me a little kiss. Everybody's Ew. fucking kissing Mario. Have you noticed that? Hmm. Goombella kissed him. Miss Mouse kissed him. There's no clay. You just fell. Okay. Good luck. Chest. What's in here? Ooh, sweet a mushroom. Oh. What's in here? Something good, I hope. Oh, good. That's a And a shrine. Da -da. That was the most like generic sound effect I've ever fucking oh, heard. Wow. Yeah, that oh, is. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, we're actually gonna dump something. We'll dump just a mushroom because we we got a pretty solid uh, we got a pretty solid mushroom that it if we fall it gives us 10 HP and brings us back to life. It's hmm. like a fairy from Legend of Zelda. Hmm. Can we see a giant bell axe Mario? Uh, yeah. I mean, if it was like a big hammer, that makes sense, be kind of funny. But just like a Dane axe is real weird. A Dane axe? Yeah. You mean like an axe of a Danishman? Yeah. I will never understand yeah, the way you're. Danish. The way you're fucking. Now I'm hungry. Brain. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he said Dane, I'm hungry. Also, I want a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking OC or. O ADD over there. You said Danish. I did. I did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah but I didn't say up. Danish like the fucking I pastry. I know, but it's... You, Same word. It relates. Homonym. Mm. Did you see that? He does like a, like a breakdancer spin. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Maybe that's his dream. His real dream. Is to be a breakdancer? Mm -hmm. Or explain the hoodie. 
Now I know what you're thinking, Eric. Now everyone who wears a hoodie knows how to break dance. I racist. Said, I want to live in that world, though. I want to live in that world. It's racist of you to say, Eric. How so? Everybody wears hoodies. I don't. No, I'm saying it's racist to say anyone who wears a, a hoodie is a break dancer. That part is racist. Oh. Uh, okay. I don't get it. I feel like it's like, I'm not doing that right. I feel like there's like a secondary style. Oh, damn it. I think there's like a... Damn it! I get cocky and I go for the... Okay, my notes... Where's that Mario's like pain face? Really remind me of something. Uh, looks like Snoopy when Snoopy's looking up in the air. Yeah! It's like Snoopy dancing. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, <laughs> I just... I can't believe we... Normally, it's like we sit there and have to think about it for like a fucking eon. Oh, I fucked it up. It doesn't really matter. Woo! There's almost like a fucking whistler in the crowd. That's that's sexism. Cat calling Mario. Look, we got in health. Just because there's a mustache to me looking for favors. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what does having a mustache have to do with favors? Enlighten me, Horus. <laughs> I mean, just like, the two things are if you have a mustache, you're a cop. If you're a cop, there's information. Or they can catch someone. To ask for favors. What the fuck are you talking about? And the other one is that you work in the pornographic industry. In which case, you're giving out favors of a sexual nature. Sexual what the favors. fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Happening? See, this is why you shouldn't ask me to explain shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you have a mustache, you're a cop. What? <laughs> No! I've never seen anyone with one that's not. Um, I don't want to waste any items, so we're gonna do sweet treat. Get some HP. Wait a minute, was Freddie Mercury a cop the whole time? Yep. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, my hearts. Uh, although they're the they're the crystal stars. Oh, okay. I'm refilling my hearts, my HP, and good job. My magic points. I mean, that's what they are. I think you mean your hoop. No! <laughs> I don't mean that! Hope. I'm refilling my hope. <sighs> oh. Watch this. I fucked up both the stylish timings on that like an idiot! <laughs> and I fucked that one up. I'm gonna kill myself. Ooh. What? What? Just imagine if, like, ugh, I don't want to say it out loud. Say it out loud. Okay. If it's real if, bad, I'll just. I mean, if there's like a really long bleep here, it means what he was saying is bad. All right. If the Pope ever committed suicide, I have a really <laughs> hard time resisting the Pope on a rope joke. Oh my god. Can the Pope kill himself? I mean, technically. I mean, I mean not, 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 not like, does can. he possess. <laughs> like, not like, does he possess the guts, but like. <laughs> the guts? <laughs> like, is, I, what I'm saying is, is there like enough. Like, does he have enough time alone in the day to, like, kill himself? When he's supposed to be I sleeping. don't know a huge amount about the Pope schedule. The pedule, if you will? That, there, there you go. There's a star piece over there, and I want it. But, um... Hmm. I don't know. I recently found out the Pope has his own swim pool. What? The Pope has his own swim pool. That's... My brain is racing to make a joke, and I can't think of anything. Well, Fuck! I've never thought about the Pope in swim trunks until this moment. Papal. Yeah, it's hard to imagine anything other than the Pope outfit, isn't it? Pa papal. Papal? Papal. Something with papal. Something with papal. I can't. I can't. I can't. I give up. I'm a quitter. You know, if I had a D-pad, this would be easier right here. Look, Mario turns into a fucking plane. Since when can Mario fly? Since he turned into a plane, you dumb shit. Oh. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, look, we can go down here. Where's this go? Is this like a... Oh. oh. Well, oh. You no. Know, oh. now we gotta go down to see where this... Oh, sweet! Oh. This is how you get that badge. Ah. Drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. Do I have enough? That's quite good, actually. I like that. There we go. Badges are all full. Okay. So basically, we have to set coops up to go activate the yellow, then run back up here. <sighs> what? So just like words like the last stand, or like, I don't know, savage attack, something like that. Fuck! I can't what? get back up now. We have to go all the way- CUT! Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna cut. <laughs> next, next time on Soundboard, we'll be back where we were.